OST presents Brendan Fraser in Journey to the Center of the Memcopy. So, Journey to the Center of Memcopy.c. We are going to dig down in Memcopy looking for the elusive rep move s instruction. So, we have a structure here that we've pragma packed one to squish it all together. We have two instances of the structure. We set a single variable to ff and then mem, mem copy from A to B so that we can confirm when it's actually copied. And of course we return ace of base. So here's the assembly, and I want you to step into the unknown. Mem copy is a library function. This is not our source code, but I want you to step in in the assembly view and dig down in it until you find rep move s. So rep move s is the assembly instruction we're searching for here. We just learned about rep stos, and so this is going to be somehow related to that. Now, traditionally in the in-person class, I had just, you know, taken people through the source code and explained it in slides. This is necessary because typically this example comes towards the end of the class, and I need to make sure we get the entire class done. But it is much better for your learning experience if those of you who are bold will now choose to go do this exercise by yourself before I show you the solution. So. What I need you to do is stop, step through the memcopy assembly, and find the rep move s. Now in particular, you're probably going to need, well, I shouldn't say probably, you're definitely going to need to modify the struct in order to force the memcopy assembly down the right path that ultimately leads you to rep move s. And to make it even more challenging, when you finally find the rep move s, I want you to write down pseudocode for the path that leads to it. All right, so now bold adventurers, once more into the abyss.